Flushed out of the pocket, he'll run with it, he's got the first down and more, still on the run, he is gone, touchdown Alabama. Next week, here on CBS, Ed Argeron's got the right thing going on here though, they just need some more players, some more playmakers, and definitely not enough offense tonight, that was going to be their worry. We Mon looking that way. Got it! It's Rodgers! The Aggies win the game of the... Pressure coming, and it's picked off! It's Brandon Moore! Joe Burrow threw it right to him! And Brandon Moore down the sideline! Nobody to beat! Look, at the end of the day, we want a quarterback. And we want a quarterback that wants to play quarterback and wants to make plays with his arm. You know, but I think uh, it's important to, for a quarterback to be able to use his feet. And not necessarily, I don't mean with, you know, with, uh, with running, with the run game strictly, but be able to, hey, when the pocket breaks down, can he make a play with his feet? Um, as long as they show that, that athleticism and that the defense has to respect. What, drastically different? How, how different will the offense look? I guess we'll see in, we'll see in the fall. You know, I'll let Coach Ensminger answer that. To, it appears Joe Burrow might be the biggest acquisition you've been able to make uh, and his importance, you know, the quarterback position, all those things. He came right at the right time. I think he changed our program around. Uh, he gave us some stability in the quarterback position. He gave us a leader there. He gave us a coach on the football field. I think we've only just seen the beginning of Joe Burrow as we've got to see what Joe Burrow is really made of. I think he's going to have a great year. We have a good football team coming back, and I can't wait to camp. Burrow throws over the top, and he's got it. Touchdown, Jamar Chase. The opening drive, six points for LSU. Burrow to the corner. Touchdown, LSU. It's Justin Jefferson. Works, he's stripped, loose ball, LSU's got it, picked up by the Tigers, Patrick. Joe Burrow, 23 of 27, 278 yards and five touchdowns. Ed Ogeron now in his third full season improves to 26 and nine. But let's not get it twisted, next week is the big one. Tonight. Yeah. Thank you for coming to our house, Tigers. Tonight, we will send you home. It's 29 27 losers. The University of Texas Longhorn. Big tour tonight. Austin, Texas. Let's get it on. Hook them, baby. And we are underway in Austin. Atkins will drive that thing right out of the back of the end zone. And we'll start on the. Hellinger going right, being chased. Not much room.
great night for college football. Uh, give Texas credit. They fought to the very end. Uh, that quarterback is a great player. I think he has a phenomenal future. Proud of my football team. We fought, man, what, a, what an epic battle. Uh, proud of Cade York going out there and make those field goals. Proud of the defense making that goal line stands on there. We don't, we don't stop on that goal line right there. The, 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 that's the difference in the ball game. The LSU Tigers take the field here in front of their home crowd, the fourth-ranked team in the country, with an in-state foe tonight. Burrow, aiming in zone, and it gets through, and into the hands of Terrace Marshall. A 14-yard strike. Burrow keeps it, dives into the end zone. A touchdown run for the gunslinger. It stabs, it was absolutely delicious and they couldn't have been nicer. And so we apologize that you're also mistaken. Big chance for a run back on the punt, and LSU's gonna take it to the house. 37 yard punt, 53 on the return for Trey Palmer. Not much. Even Brian Erlacher would be impressed. 65-14 is the final. With at least five touchdowns in the team's first four games to the air again. And this is Jamar Chase. He's in a chase. And he will take it all the way. One play, 6.64 yards. Burrow gives it up. Allaire's got the first down. He's got the touchdown. From nine yards. Here's Vaughn. Bounces to the outside. Hit behind the line. And he will not. Get there, Jacob Phillips and Christian is back to the line. That time he got crushed, lobs it up, and it's a leaping catch goal for a first down with a flag to chase. Crisp looking close, blocked by LSU, and now they add a special teams touchdown. It's that man. I'm proud of our team, um, 4 0 on the road. The SEC victory, our first SEC victory. Was everything pretty? No, it wasn't. But you know what? We kept on fighting. We made some big plays. We made some some uncharacteristic uh, bad plays, and uh, we're gonna get them fixed. But you know, open date is right there around the corner. We're gonna join. Little play action for Burrow, going up top toward the end zone. Jefferson is there. Makes another catch. Oh my goodness, Justin Jefferson with a set on the year. And now they can set their sights on a night game here at Tiger Stadium in Death Valley against the Florida Gators next Saturday night. Seven o'clock Saturday night, Tiger Stadium, LSU, Florida. Doesn't get much better than that, man. It's going to be a wonderful night for the LSU family and the Tigers. This is going to be. Saturday night in Death Valley, as we said, no place on earth quite like it. Gators just getting Jabari Zuniga and the other pass rush look at healthy and now a busted hole. Edwards Hilaire is in the clear. It's a foot race. And the Gators will finally chase him down inside the 10. And it's 10 of 11 now. Edwards Hilaire.
Florida suffers their first loss. Well, anyone wants to know when it comes to the SEC West is, can LSU take down Alabama? You are ball? correct. And, 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 Dan, I love your enthusiasm. Marcus, I know you too well. Um, <laughs> but, but we were here a year ago, and I don't want to rain on this parade because I love it too. But a year ago, LSU looked different. And they hosted Alabama in a one versus three matchup. And they got skunked 28 to nothing. So until they beat Alabama, all of this generational stuff. From the Philly, they fake it to him. Deep sideline. Down the sideline is McMahon. He's gone. Touchdown on LSU. 60 yards. Schrader getting pressure again down the middle. This one is intercepted. Jacoby Stevens. And Stevens, who was called for a penalty earlier, comes up with a big play for the Tiger defense. First and goal at the eight. Burrow, the quick throw is caught for the touchdown. Jamar Chase. Just like that, LSU with another score. Yeah. His dad, a longtime coach in college football. And here's his son going deep for another touchdown. Derek Dillon, 37 yards, and that's number three for his son. And this one's going to be intercepted by Christian Fulton. Pretty impressive performance. Started off a little sp sputtery, I guess. Held the three it. field goals, they and then they it. got one. Yeah, they, they earned the Mississippi State showed up early, especially on defense, and then... Ed Orgeron's LSU Tigers set to close out their October schedule with a march down Victory Hill in Baton Rouge. The nation's number two team looking to keep their perfect record intact today. And all eyes will be on the nation's hottest quarterback, Joe Burrow. Even Mike the Tiger smells something in the air. A streak of Tigers from the plains of Auburn ready to ambush in Death Valley. To chase 29 to chase and now Burrow going to the corner for the home run ball. Got it. Touchdown, Terrace Marshall. He will, and he's going to score. Touchdown, LSU. LSU is 8 0, and they move to the top of each chance. Guess who they play in Tuscaloosa? You got it. And the SEC West along with Alabama at 4 and 0. And two weeks hence, guess who they play in Tuscaloosa? You got it. Up in Alabama, but it won't happen. Relevant. Tua, excuse me, Tua, if he if he plays He's playing. Saturday, y'all are getting he playing. taken out. You, All right. think, you think you're going to go to Tuscaloosa? Right. Let me, you say it with me. Roll time. Those words will never come trouble. out of my mouth. Y'all in go trouble. You. I'm looking at three of my four boys that are back here behind the camera. I'm saying, well, who should I pick? One said LSU, one said Alabama, one said I, I, this is coin flip for me. I, I've loved LSU all year long in this new offense at Joe Burrow. But with Alabama and Nick Saban having two weeks to prepare, and they, they lead the nation in turnover margin, I think that could be the difference. Stealing a possession or two. I'm going Alabama to find a way Alabama. to get it done. Yeah, yeah, Alabama. Justin, what do you got? You know, you said something about a coin flip, but uh, funny thing for me is my coin seems to be two-sided. So uh, I'm going Bama, first quarter, first half, all game. We're going to kill them. Come on. You love games like this, and if you're afraid, that might not be a good thing. So rivalry at its highest level. This is a physical game. SEC championship, college football playoff, national championship. There's always something on the line. I expect it to be a national championship type vibe. I won't forget. I actually think we have the confidence around Baton Rouge. We say, yeah, we can beat Alabama, but I don't think we truly believe it like we do now. I just know it's going to be a, a crazy atmosphere. It's home. The crowd just pumps us up. It's just best. The world circled November 9th on their calendar. They wondered, might they both be undefeated? Would it be a top five matchup? They are. It is. It's on. Play 
high fake to Edward G. Lair. Burrow going for all of it. Caught. Touchdown, Jamar Chase. I think there's too many men on the field as well for Alabama though, the Clyde it and that on field goal. And Burrow keeps it. Joe Burrow might be a Heisman moment right there if he hasn't produced enough of them. And it's on that last drive. Edward Zeller dragging Alabama tacklers with him first down. That's the game. They can take a knee now. He told his team, as we said earlier, I told them all week, we're the better team. Today, they were. It's a great game to be in, a great robbery. I am so happy for the state of Louisiana and all the LSU fans and our football team and our coaching staff. They worked very hard for this victory. It's a much-deserved victory for our football team and our great state of Louisiana and our great university in LSU. Joe Burrow has changed the way this team runs its offense. What does this do for his legacy as an LSU quarterback? Hey, you know, he's one of the best we've had here. But we still got four games left, and we're going down the road. We're going to try to win them every, every game, and we're going to bring a championship back to Louisiana. Yeah. Clyde Edwards E. Lair carried that Alabama group just now for the first down. How did that embody the toughness today? You know, Clyde is 6'4, 270. <laughs> and uh, he has a great mindset about himself. He has the heart of a champion. I am so proud of Clyde. Where can this team go from here, Coach? We'll see. We've got to go beat Ole Miss next week. We'll take it one game at a time. Congratulations. Go Tigers. Clyde Edwards. You are watching the SEC on ESPN in college football primetime presented by Hilton. And we're underway. Ole Miss and LSU. The Rebels won the toss and deferred. LSU elected to take the ball in the opening kickoff from Luke. Where he wants to go with the ball the majority of the time. 22-year-old transfer from Ohio State eluded the rush. Lost it deep for a touchdown. Before the game over in the Grove. Burrow throws Jamar Chase wide open. Touchdown. Only one time this year did they not score. And they're in the red zone again, comfortably so from the seven. Burrow touchdown to Justin Jefferson. It'll be an outfielder. It might be Uncle's baseball team. Lumley throws an interception. Picked off by Kerry Vincent. Who looks plenty healthy on this return, and he's chopped down inside the 30-yard line. They bring pressure right in his face. He got it off. Jamar Chase breaks free. They have angles on him. He made a great cut to the outside and scored. Expected to be prohibitive favorites in each of the remaining games. Edwards Elair off to the races. Touchdown, LSU. It's a win. It's 714 yards of offense for LSU. Last time they had seven. Thaddeus Moss, probably the unsung hero in the aforementioned Elair. Wide open in the end zone. It's Chase for the touchdown. They strike less than two and a half minutes in. They run it here. Edwards Elair inside the 15-yard line, heading for the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. Play action here for Burrow with a ton of time. Wide open man. Jamar Chase walks in. Touchdown, Tigers. 
Probably going to be the last drive of the night for Burrow. Keep it on the ground with Edwards Elair, and this is going to be a quick drive. What a move by Edwards Elair at the 10. Shook the defender and scored. And take over what should be very big shoes to fill in Joe Burrow. There goes Edwards Elair again. Out the gate. And gone. The SEC West Championship. They will play Georgia in the SEC title. But first, AM comes to Baton Rouge, ESPN next week. For Greg and Tom, I'm Dave. So long from Baton Rouge. this perfect regular season they want to avenge that controversial and emotional seven overtime loss to Texas A&M last year in College Station A&M won the toss and deferred so they kicked off and Braden Mann's boot is a touchback Edwards Elair touchdown what a start for LSU number one still in the AP poll Another play fake by Burrow and a deep strike and an open receiver. Jamar Chase, another touchdown. Here's an interception by Grant Delpit, bringing it back down the sideline. Flags are thrown. Delpit got flattened by Carter. Sellout crowd inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Here comes the fourth-ranked team in the country, the 11-1 Georgia Bulldogs, the champions of the East, making their eighth appearance in the SEC title game. And from Baton Rouge, the second-ranked Tigers, undefeated at 12-0, making their sixth appearance in the first time in this game in eight years. from the 25-yard line. So we take a to the left as a receiver across the middle. It's batted in the air. Joe Burrow to Joe Burrow. And now Burrow heading to the first down marker and then some. It's going to get it away. Burrow, plenty of time. Scanning the field. Pointing. Wow. Now he's going to go deep. And caught. Jamar Chase for the touchdown. He cannot rush. There's the fake, there's the lob, there's a wide open Terrace Marshall. Touchdown. Pressure coming, throws. Far side, it's intercepted by Stingley. Comes a blitz on Burrow. They're giving chase and he somehow escapes again. And now throws late on the run. Got it, Justin Jefferson. Jefferson. Gonna run out of real estate, but it's first. Quick slant, there it is. Gary call it. Touchdown, wow. Terrace Marshall. Well, I thought they had a lot of football left. From, and that is intercepted by Stingley. His quickness is incredible. His hands are incredible. He baited that throw. That big play, they squat, they cut underneath. They don't worry about the tackle. They go for the pick six. And yeah, he feels they're selling out. Burrow. The fade to the corner to Jefferson. Touchdown, LSU. With the victory meal. And that will do it. West over East, and LSU is 13 and 0. Jerron. How about that? 13 and 0. Coach O. Heck of a performance to win the SEC champions, the Tigers of LSU here in 2019. And the Heisman Trophy will go to that man, I predict. And it will. Yes, sir. State Clemson, that is going to be the Fiesta Bowl. And LSU, the Bayou Bengals making it into the playoff for the first time. They are number one. We'll go to Atlanta, championship game in New Orleans. Last three times we've had a national championship game in New Orleans. LSU has been there. LSU
the night the number one team in college football plays its biggest game of the year. We have just learned that the daughter-in-law of one of LSU's coaches was among five people killed when a small plane crashed in dense fog in Lafayette, Louisiana this morning. Carly McCord, who works as a sports reporter for our affiliate, WDSU, was traveling to Atlanta to watch the game. That's where her father-in-law, Steve Ensmerger, is coaching tonight. The governor of Louisiana, John Bell Edwards, expressing his condolences for McCord and the other. Into the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Heisman Trophy winner Joe Burrow leads top-ranked LSU against Oklahoma. The Sooners are in the playoffs for the third year in a row, this time with Alabama transfer Jalen Hurts leading their offense. Hurts and Burrow are half of a group of four starting quarterbacks who collectively are the most talented and most interesting in the six-year history of the playoff. In the second half of the year, first team all SEC after the play fake, the slant, the catch, and the touchdown for Justin Jefferson. That's all those tests will return. All right, Holly, thank you. On the handoff, Edwards Elair gets the carry. Nothing wrong with the hamstring on that run. On those two runs. Bar Chase now lined up on the left hip of Burrow. Feels the rush so well and throws for a touchdown. Terrace Marshall after the for LSU. Burrow, plenty of time. Running out of time, retreating. Murray tries to help Rush as he reaches the sideline. He lobs it up, and it is caught by Terrace Marshall. The middle of the game at 77-9. That would be the record. Throwing deep. Has a man. Another touchdown. Jefferson hangs on this time for six. He couldn't come down with Burrow dodges the rush. Going for Jefferson again. It's another touchdown. And he beat Woody Washington newly into the game for the ejected Radley Hiles. He's already tied the single game playoff record with four touchdown passes. Some trickery. They need a big play. And instead, it's a on third and 17. 22 yard gain. Burrow deep again on target again. Jefferson again. Touchdown again. Clyde Edwards Elaire really being a factor. Big rush by Chason, and he takes Hurts down back in some... All these great players and coaches, everybody at every level of the operation. Barlow has a man wide open. It's Jamar Chase with a first down near... Throws <laughs> wide open, touchdown! Terrace... ...chip on January 13th. Well, issue 14 and 0 for the first time in school history. The only he is. You know, you know what that stands for? That's how many national championships they're going to have after they win today wow. in, in five years. That's it. That's what that three means. So you're taking Clemson. I'm taking Clemson. Listen, Man. if you've watched me all year, you would think I'm going to take Clemson because I've been on Clemson since the start of the season. But then you realize, like, we're in New Orleans. And New Orleans is a very unique city where you better say the right things at the right time. And so naturally people are going to think, like, oh, he's going to pick LSU. You're wrong. I'm picking Clemson to win this football game. Whoa! Clemson, 38-34. Trevor Lawrence going to have a big night. That defense is going to have a big night. Amar Rodgers will be the difference maker in the slot. They'll play for a championship in this building for the fourth time. They're 2-1 and one in the first three. Turn this kick. Comes from Jennings, Louisiana, about 100 miles away. Tigers versus the Tigers for the title. Should be a lot of fun. The 
It's a line drive that lands a few yards behind at the end zone. So here it comes. He's very short. <laughs> yeah. But very effective. Now Morrow going to launch downfield for Chase. Who's got it? Touchdown, LSU. Clemson brings the pressure. It's picked up. And now Burrow is launching downfield. And it's Chase again. He's got the catch. And again, fighting inside the five. Terrell is beaten again. He did say the touchdown. So if you're going to pressure Joe Burrow, it's just going to come down to you. to the end zone, caught, touchdown chase! And LSU, comes pressure, gets it out quickly, dives down! Thaddeus Moss just standing still, and LSU stretches the lead before half time. Burrow, back metal, slips it far side, catch made Moss! Flushed again as Rue makes it cut. Pays the pace, lost the ball. Lawrence coughs it up at the end of the run. LSU's got the football and they got one hand on the trophy. Derek. Championship. As they say in the bayou, there's it up on top of Let the good times roll. LSU sits on the throne of college football. They knock out the defending champs. An offensive onslaught. 620. In the state of Louisiana, we have support from the governor, from the president, from everybody that's lost out of shoot. I'm just so happy for the people from Louisiana. But you got to give the credit to this football team, man. They've been working for one year. They deserve this day. Well, it's my honor to present the National Championship Trophy. Coach Ed Ogeron and the LSU Tigers.